Okay, welcome to the second tutorial. Uh, hopefully you found the first tutorial right. You might have skipped it because this it was a simple tutorial. This is still fairly simple, but we'll go over it anyway. Uh, today we're going to be talking about how to change the icon, but not just the application icon in kind of the top left corner, uh, but also the icon of the file when it's saved onto your hard disk. All right, so we're going to—I'll I'll explain what I mean first. So if we go to our project, tutorial one, bin release. Okay, so we have an icon here, which if I increase the size to, I don't know, large icons, as you can see, it's pretty default. It's, it doesn't actually have an icon, it's just my Windows default. If you've got an icon package, then yours might be different. And the other icon I'm talking about is if we go to Visual Studio, wait for that to load, and then we open up our Tutorial 1 project. Assuming you made a graphical project rather than a console project, you should have an icon in the top left corner. Uh, which is uh, three or four rectangles of different colours. Okay, these are still fairly easy to change, and I'll, I'll go through how. But first of all, we're going to want to get some icons. So the website I'm going to recommend is a website called Icon Archive, or Archive. Uh, dot com. It has thousands and thousands of icons. Um, some of them you can't use commercially, the, but there are commercially free ones without copyright on them. So just go to popular. I'm going to choose two icons really quick. Which icons do we like the look of? Yeah, feeling like some fruit. Okay, so if we download these, I'm going to choose two icons so we can have one for the top left icon and one for the hard disk icon. So if we have an apple for the top left and a cherry for the hard disk. Yeah, sounds alright to me. Okay, so there's different file formats. There's PNG, which is an image format. Um, we're not going to be working with this today, there's ICO which is the icon format which is what we're going to work with and there's another one which is ICNS and if I'm honest I have no idea what that is. So anyway we're going to want to click download ICO for both of these pictures and then we're going to want to save them and we we'll do this with the Apple one as well, save, we're going to want to open the folder, copy the two files, actually I'm going to cut them and then you're going to want to save them into a folder where you'll be able to remember. So I've, I've made a folder inside my programming folder called Icons. So if I paste them into there, as you can see, we've got Apple and Cherry, and the format is .ico. If you don't have your extensions showing, the type underneath should be Icon. Right, so we go back to our project. Uh, I've got two of them open up for some reason. If we shut one of them, open up the other. Right, so changing this icon in the top left is actually really, really simple. If we go to our Properties toolbar, uh, if yours isn't showing, then all you have to do is come up here, the second one along, uh, and click the properties window. Alternatively, it's Control and W and P apparently. Right, scroll up and down. At the top, you've got the name of your form. At the bottom, you're going to have the text of the form, along with loads and loads of other properties related to our form. So, a quick example here. Currently, it says form one. It says form one up here. If we wanted to change that to tutorial one changes up here to tutorial one. I just want to apologize about the fan, I'm rendering the other videos so you might get some background noise from that, uh, but hopefully not too bad. Anyway, if you want to scroll along to the property where it says icon, and as you can see, or you should be able to see, uh, the icon being used currently is displayed and in brackets in brackets says icon. This is the default icon that Microsoft uh, Visual Studio projects use. It's their logo, I believe. And the way to change it is you're going to want to click and then the three dots just show up, which stands for Browse. And then remember the folder we uh, saved earlier, which in, in my case was Programming Icons. You're going to want to choose whichever icon you want. So in this case, I'm going to go with, um, what am I thinking, Cherries. And we're going to click Open. And as you can see, it's already changed up here. If we just quickly uh, test it out by clicking our green arrow, or F5 if you remember. Uh, yep, yeah, looks like it's successful, uh, successfully worked. Right, so if we stop debugging now, uh, the way we've changed the second icon, because if you go back here, you'll see the icon hasn't actually been changed in the hard disk option. If you go to Project, Properties, and then go on to Application, scroll down a little bit, um, you'll see Resources, and it goes on about the icon and the manifest. Uh, the manifest has specific settings, uh, you can have custom ones, I'll, I'll talk about this in another tutorial. Anyway, here you go, it says icon, and at the moment it's set to default icon, and it gives you a quick little preview, which as you can see, oh, sorry about that, as you can see, appears to match up with the one we have at the moment. So if you click this browse button once again, you go to desktop, or whatever folder you had it in, icons, uh, this time we'll use the apple, click OK, and as you can see, the preview has changed to our apple, so it looks like it's going to work. Uh, and 
we click build solution or F6 if you remember like we did last tutorial now if we go into our folder yep this work we've got our apple our apple is now our icon so if we click it it should load up our new form with the cherry icon in the top left right I hope you had a well, I hope you understood the tutorial uh, I'm not quite sure what we're going to cover in the next tutorial so if you've got any suggestions then please let me know but keep practicing even if uh, I don't release anything useful. Right, have fun.